Hey guys, it's Nick from Retro Games HQ, and today I am talking about Eternal Exodus, a monster taming RPG with fusion and crafting. So it's set in the afterlife with fusion, crafting, questing, mini games, and fully original story and soundtrack. It just went up a few days ago, but Eternal Exodus, I know the uh, the developer for it has been working on it for some time. I'm going to not play this video right now. You all can watch it by yourself if you go to the Link in the description below. Click on it. It's going to take you to this Kickstarter. It's got $15,000 uh, goal. Hit over 10%. But let's keep it going until it gets to, you know, like right here. Or even if it's like right here. That's fine too. <laughs> so let's go through. I'm going to go through a little bit of it. Then we'll go through the tiers. So play Steam Demo now. Yeah, you can play it now. So, uh... Features roughly two hours of content. Consider wish listing two. Yes, I agree. Do wish listing. So this play. This is a little bit of the gameplay. Now, of course, this is for the Kickstarter. So the finished game is going to be different. But right now, I already like the concept art or the art for a lot of them. And that's a shiny right there, if you can't tell. So yeah, catch team is including the alternate palette versions shinies. So I want to say these things for checking out. Kickstar, his name's Josh Ford. That's the dude who started making Eternal Exes back in 2019. Oh, game concept. Unique, feature-rich, narrative-driven RPG set in a beautiful world. You catch monsters, fuse them together in strong ones, and craft weapons and armor for them. So it's interesting that you get to pretty much equip armor to your monsters themselves. So these systems are easy to learn, but offer a lot of depth for mastery. Fuse de uh, demons inherit spells and passive abilities from the parents, so there's endless combinations of skills for your demons to learn. What's more, the weapons and armor often have unique traits that can synergize with your demons' abilities. Consider pairing the heavy axe, which deals extra damage at the cost of reduced accuracy, which a true aim a passive ability, which prevents your attacks from missing. Combine this with the body aim passive, allowing your attacks to hit all enemies at once, and you have a powerhouse on your hands. This is just one of the endless combinations you can create to uh, to create the party of your dreams. And a little bit more, fuse demons together, inheriting spells. So it's what's going to happen right here. I'll let you all see that. But, see... It's going to pick, and then bam, but anyways, classic art JRPG, massive world map, think FF4 through 6, find side quests, variety of mini games. here's crafting weapons, uh, and armor for your demons, of course you have crafting levels as well. So the game start, will launch 2022, on um, multiple platforms, I can only offer Steam and Itch.io keys to the Kickstarter backwards right now, but that's fine, it's still pretty good. Eternal Exodus takes place in the afterlife. Upon dying and being reborn in this new mode of being, souls are surprised to learn that the afterlife is a physical world. Would not ter is a physical world. Would not terribly unlike uh well world not. Uh, I keep saying would, but world not terribly unlike the first world. They eat, sleep, and toll away at the jobs in exchange for medicine that keeps them biologically immortal. So major difference: demons wander the world. Fortunately, an invention called the Subject Air allows demons to be captured, summoned at will, and commanded, but Human nature is eternal, and with power inevitably comes worldwide struggle, struggle for control between opposing factions who think they all know what's best for humanity. So being reborn at the wrong place at the wrong time, you find yourself reluctantly thrown into the middle of centuries-old conflict. To survive, you'll need an ally with a coarse group of law-breaking uh, outcasts. At the same time, something much bigger is unraveling, and the secrets of the metaphysical fabric of the universe hidden away for hundreds of years are about to be cover uncovered again at last. So, Japanese soundtracks, or Japanese-style soundtracks for RPGs, a uh, crucial part of the experience. So, I'm no Nubio Uematsu or Yasunori Mitsuda, but I hope the soundtrack will boost your enjoyment so it's about 20 right now we'll play a little bit of this not all of it so cross infinite expanse this is a world map theme you can click right here and listen to more of them so i'm going to skip forward a little bit and so it's just world map theme just looking at the map that's the thing that's going to pop up let me go down here and then my reason for kickstarter with or without the kickstarter the game's being made Still full a uh, track for a uh, full release at some point in 2022. The game's over halfway complete right now. What inspired me to make the Kickstarter's desire to translate the game into more languages beyond the current English and Japanese. Every additional language adds an enormous co enormous cost, as I found out when funding the Japanese localization out of pocket. So more languages doesn't mean more people get to play it. It also uh, more doesn't just mean 
It also means it can be used as a language learning tool with multi-language feature. I agree. Actually, oh, I actually really freaking like that. But part of the money will be used to bring outside help with other parts of the game. All right. So in short, Kickstarter's. So here's what's going to happen. Support for at least two other languages beyond English and Japanese. Looking at Chinese and Spanish. That was pretty freaking good. A trading card game. Something along the lines of a uh, FF8 uh, or uh, FF9. You'll be able to find cards scattered throughout the world, build a deck with them, and challenge NPCs to a duel. I like that as well. Also, a hard mode. Not just a cheesy thing of raising enemy stats. Stats will remain the same. Enemies will be instead reprogrammed with AI scripts that make them a little smarter about exploiting your weaknesses and protecting their own. Now, stretch goals. So 20K, so let's get it to 15K, 100%. 26 days, we can do it, get it to 15K. Then go to 20K, post-game content. New area will open up uh, after you're com you complete the main story, complete with its own dungeon featuring new mo demons and content. Programming for this makes it possible for other post-game content to be added as well. Now, 25K, town building sim. The party's headquarters will now be something you can invest your gold into, construct buildings that generate gold, offer new shops, and more. I actually really like that idea. Carefully plan your town layout in a fashion similar to games like Dark Cloud and Azure Dreams. 30K, don't know. More to be announced if he gets funded, so stay in touch. So, know about demon design a demon tier because we're about to cover the tiers if you back a design a demon tier you'll also be uh you also get the reward of be an npc in the game too i didn't mention that in the description it's too late to edit so i just wanted to mention it here all right so going back up just so we can go through here just comments no updates so far but just got put up so you can obviously just do a regular pledge with no reward that'd be nice but you can also do whatever i just did right then a steam key so one key for a digital copy of the game. It's 25% off if you prefer itch.io, Keenstead, contact them. Anyways, only 15 bucks. Ain't bad, ain't bad at all. And then you get the early bird. Which, right now, there's seven backers. But if you get the early bird for Steam Key and the soundtrack CD, uh, then you'll get the Steam uh, beta access on Steam starting in November 2021. So there's only United States. Uh, okay, there's nothing. But so you get a CD, and there's five more left for that, or twenty left for that. Twenty left for this one. Of course, once that runs out, you can only do at thirty. So it's five bucks more, and then pledge forty bucks or more, and you get the early bird special of Steam Key soundtrack and map, a poster of the game's world map. I I really like that. So, so far, there are 20 left of that, too, so do not miss that uh, miss out on that. You have 50, which is just what well, I said before. Then be an NPC in the game for 100 bucks or more, so it'll be named after you. Optionally, you can also provide a description of what the NPC should look like slash be wearing or submit a photo. Uh, you also get same key for the game, soundtrack, and map. Poster, he's unable to ship outside the U.S., sadly. But right now, there are... Eight left of that. You have 300 design a demon, new demon in the game. So you get to also work with them one on one to decide the stats and skills. It'll have a completely unique skill too, as long as it doesn't affect the game's balance too much. Names and appearances are subject to approval. So obviously, and then all gone is the that. Are we at 25 backers on that? But that is the tiers, and that is. Eternal Exodus, make sure you go in the description below, check it out where you can watch this for yourself. Maybe go down here, you know, and look at the, or listen to the soundtracks, because some of the soundtracks are actually pretty good. Like, I actually like a few of them, like really like them. But, anyways, I would greatly appreciate it if you went and checked it out, yeah. Um, it's just, I've been watching this be made for, a, I don't know how many months now, it's been a few months. And I would really like it if he got the support from you all. Um, right now I'm kind of in a predicament, so I'm still thinking about doing this, but it's just, you know, cash. <laughs> but I thought the least I could do is make a video about it and hopefully get, even if it's just one person, even if it's just one person that gets 15 bucks, that's 15 bucks closer to the goal that he wants to get. So that's all. 
for this video. Go check this out. We'll see you in the next one. Retro on.